Right, Twitter hints and tips. I'll be honest, this is a tricky one because Twitter is changing a lot all the time. And what I'm saying now could be wrong in a matter of weeks and days, but it could be still right. So just test these out. For Twitter, the shadow ban. So if you're a sex worker and you have an OnlyFans promote an account or you just happen to have a nipple showing once, even though Twitter is a safe place, you might find that your likes compared to your follow count of like, it does happen. It is mental. So you're seeing these accounts that have got 300,000, but they're getting 200 likes, even four or 500, which is quite okay, you might think, per post. You got 300k likes, that's horrendously bad. That's pants, that's rubbish. There are accounts that have got 5,000 followers that are getting 1,000 likes per post. Twitter's bizarre. But I'm going to give you some hints and tips on how to improve it. So retweet for retweet and retweet groups were a thing. They are amazing. They help you grow when you're beginning. But they also can then get you this kind of shadow ban where no one sees your account. I had that issue. To fix that, I stopped using Twitter completely for three to four months. I then went back. Still wasn't working. I then went private and shut my account down to the public. So the only people who could see it were people who were already following me. My engagement tripled overnight. So if you're having trouble with your reach, I really suggest you go private. So it tripled. That's a big, big thing. I kept it private, I think, for at least four months. Four months. And when I came back off private, it stayed the same. Things was, I was still getting the same amount of likes. But also, while I was private, I gained about 10,000 followers, if not more. I was getting at least 100 subscribers a day. Not subscribers, fans. Subscribers are only fans, but it works. So followers become subscribers. So my, my growth was better being private on Twitter than when I was public. So I suggest going in and out of being private, but do it for periods of time. I wouldn't just do it for a day or two, a week. I would probably try and stick with it for a period of time and see what works for you. The other thing that I'm going to suggest is, so obviously crediting people in your tweets is quite a biggie and people can get pissed off if they're not credited and I completely understand why, but I would really suggest and educate the people on this as well to know why you're doing this is don't tag them in your captions, tag them in the comments. And if someone did that to me, I will be okay with it because I know why. I challenge you, do a tweet, so you and Gary, so whoever the hell you want, you, know, you do your tweet and you tag at Gary's account. See how many likes you get. Do another tweet, a different picture, but again, you and Gary or you and whoever. But put his at in your comment, that will get a lot more views, a lot more likes. You think Twitter would would support the fact that you're crediting people. Because when you credit people, they retweet it as well. You think you get more retweets, more likes. But why does it get less? Don't know why. Don't 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 know. It's crazy. Another thing, you put any links in there. So not just at any links in your captions. Again, you're getting less engagement. So yeah, if you're doing any S links, link trees, or just direct to OnlyFans, get them out there. Put it in your comments okay so no ads in your captions no links in your captions and try going private for a bit why do i go finger finger thumb i don't know but yeah they're my my tips my bits of advice for how to improve your twitter engagement and how it'll benefit your only fans okay uh good luck with that and please subscribe because i'm going to keep doing these these tips these hints these bits of advice and yeah subscribe there's the button. It'll be somewhere, somewhere, somewhere. Just do it. And then oof, go check out my other videos because I'm going to keep firing them out. There's amazing things coming. I do some really fun stuff too. And obviously the interviews, they're still cracking on. So enjoy.